Our guest right now on the weekly show this morning, we have with us from the Whitney Reynolds Show on WYCC, Whitney Reynolds. How are you? I am doing great. It is so wonderful to be the summertime, but yet we're still wearing sweatshirts. We what, are. What's it's, going it's on been with a, it? It's been a crazy summer. I know. It really has been, but I'm so glad to be back because there are so many wonderful women doing great things around Chicago in the summertime. And for our Whitney's Women segment this month, uh, tell us who you brought into the studio with you today. Step Up Women's Network, Cassandra Godgad. We went over this. She, Her name is so much fun. You can pronounce it multiple ways. But she is the ringleader of this wonderful event coming up, and I'm actually emceeing it. So it is professional women that all get together, and we support young women, get them into college. Cassandra, I'm going to let you take it over because you know everything about all the ins and outs about this. Sure. So Shine and Dine is happening next week, Thursday, August 7th at Bridgeport Art Center. Um, Whitney is our fabulous, fabulous MC. so, so thank you so much. We're really excited to have you. Um, but it's a really great, fun, foodie cocktail event. So we have over 20 restaurants. Um, women are, foodies. I've never heard of that before. Women this is a strange foodies. event. Mm. And guys are allowed to, gentlemen. You're allowed to come to this event, too. It's for you as well. Um, but we have everyone from RL to Farmhouse to Fellini to Table 52 to Honey Butter Fried Chicken. Restaurant after restaurant after restaurant, serving up really great tastings and samplings, um, all to benefit our programs for teen girls. Um, so we do mentoring programs for teen girls in grades 9th through 12th in Chicago, really helping them graduate high school, get into college, and become part of the next generation of professional women. One thing we were talking about before we went on air today is, you know, when we're reading these headlines about gun violence and whatnot, you know, Cassandra made such a good point. It's not just um, another headline. That's one of our kids. Because that's what this this whole group is able to go in and tell. It is, it's teen girls, but the teen girls know the teen guys. And it's telling them, you know, you can go beyond whatever you feel like your circumstance is and get into college and do well, be successful. And it really is, I mean, even though this event's going on next week, it benefits so much more. Yeah, so really what research shows is one of the biggest indicators of whether or not a teen is going to graduate from high school is do they have an adult mentor that they can go to when they have an issue in their life, when they have a problem? Is there somebody there who cares, who's showing up, who's making them accountable? Um, And we really work with these girls. We help them see that there is a path for them, there is a future for them, and we give them the tools and resources. They have everything inside themselves they need to be successful and we really just help them bring bring that out in them and really help break that cycle of poverty that is entrenched in some of these communities. And tell us about the mentors themselves uh, that work with Step Up Women's Network. Sure. So as the Women's Network would imply, um, we are a network of professional women who belong to us as members. Um, So they volunteer with us. We call it high capacity mentoring. So it's a group mentoring model. Um, So our members come in after school and on weekends and work with our girls around helping them build confidence, helping them build resiliency, helping them build self-esteem. How do you build healthy relationships? And then really on all those topics, when you think about when you were applying to college, when you were getting into college, all of those questions that you had that you maybe went to an older sibling, you maybe went to a parent, you maybe went to people in the communities. That's really what our mentors are for the girls. So where they're helping answer all of those questions, helping them with college applications, helping them figure out what a FAFSA is, what a college essay is, um, and really helping them get along on that path. Wow, you're saying a lot of words that I remember, and I'm so thankful I don't have to remember what FAFSA or college applications. Jordan, are you glad that we're past that stage? Thank God. Well, and it's crazy to think about this mentorship. I actually met with my mentor this week, and that lady has sown so much into my own life that it's amazing to think what you guys are doing in these kids' lives because teens are probably the most vulnerable. They're looking, especially I went to y'all's fashion show last year Mm -hmm. that benefited the girls, and it was just amazing because I'm thinking there's all these designer, there's all these beautiful women, and there's all these women in business that work really hard, and here they serve with these girls. Yeah, and it's really showing them there's that role model, there's, there's that mentor sitting in front of you and showing that you that that is possible. You can be that person. You know, there's this concept that you can't be what you can't see. So we put it in front of them so that you can see it. And, you know, you think about what, like what is a FAFSA. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what that word means. What's really great about our mentoring model is you don't need to know what that word means. We have youth development professionals. We have instructors who are running the programs. You're really coming in to share your experience, to share those, whether it's what I did or, you know what, I'm looking back 10 years ago. Maybe here's something that I would have done differently. It's sharing what your personal journey looked like with our girls so that they can learn from it. And real quick, I know Shine and Dine is, uh, is coming up. And that's your event that you're focused on right now. But you have, it sounds like you have multiple events throughout the year. We host about 50 events a year. Um, So we have all of our mentoring events after school and on weekends that happen throughout the school year. But again, we are a network of professional women. So we have power breakfasts. We do panels. We do shopping events. Lots of really great things throughout the year that women can get involved in if you're interested in mentorship. Um, Our website is suwn.org. You can visit there and check everything out. 
And Whitney, tell everybody where they can find you. <laughs> you can find me every Saturday at 4 on WYCC on the Whitney Reynolds Show or WhitneyReynolds.com. Jordan, we're working on the fall, and I'm so excited for this new season. Yeah, oh. your producer was asking me for pictures and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, for you're our on episode. our fall. Yeah. You know, I'm doing so many different shows and wonderful stories that are impacting crazy things. And, you know, your show, which is so cool, is you're on Woman Entrepreneurs. Yeah, Am you I heard, really? oh, that's you heard right. me right, folks. Jordan is on the Woman that Entrepreneur right. Show. And I'm not going to give any um, secrets away, but his segment is fabulous. I thought it came out pretty good. Yeah, I'm you look really slick. To You're going to be hosting this event, too, uh, yeah, Shine I'm gonna and Dime for MC-ing. Step Up Women's I was, Network. Yeah, I was reviewing kind of what we're going to go over. I'm telling you, it's going to be a heartful night, so I'm really excited about everything coming up. And Cassandra, one more time, uh, tell us uh, where they can find out more information about this event uh, in particular. So go to our website. It's suwn.org. It's Shine and Dine happening on Thursday, August 7th. And I'm pretty sure when she was talking about all the food that's going to be there, my stomach started talking louder than <laughs> oh, it yeah. was. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a good one. This Thursday night, Shine and Dine with the Step Up Women's Network. Thank you so much for coming in, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you.